This video is brought to you by Astronix Test Systems and the Freedom brand of communications system analyzers. The topic of the video is Auto-Tune. After watching this video, the viewer should be able to understand the many advantages with automated alignment and testing of subscriber units. We'll discuss several of these with a later slide. While most radio alignments are performed in analog mode, it is important to test the radio as it is used on the individual system. This is why we incorporate specific digital tests along with the expected analog test. The physical setup will vary depending upon radio make and model. A detailed setup diagram is offered for each radio model. With just a couple of button presses, users are ready to utilize Auto-Tune. All test data is automatically saved to the internal solid state hard drive and can be exported to a USB drive at any time. Here is an example of a common customer scenario. First, we'll hear about a radio technician that has been assigned the task of servicing hundreds of radios in a very short period of time. Next, we'll understand the importance of properly maintaining your fleet of radios. Finally, we'll recognize the fact that Auto-Tune can and will reduce overall test time by as much as 60%. Could these skills help you save time and money? As a prime dealer, Nelson was awarded a contract to service 200 handheld radios. The contract stipulated that all service must be completed within two weeks must be tested and aligned to within factory specifications, and test results for each individual radio must be available upon request. Nelson recognized the fact that manual service of 200 radios would take three technicians approximately five weeks to complete. He then realized that by adding the Auto-Tune application to two of his existing service monitors, the task could be completed within the agreed upon deadline of two weeks. He also learned that any Freedom Auto-Tune application can be added to existing equipment by simply entering a 16-digit code called an option key into the front panel. No need to ship the unit in for upgrade, no upgrade fee, and most important, no delay with getting the equipment into service. Not only was Nelson able to satisfy the contract but by providing an on-time delivery of all 200 radios, he was able to maximize his profit margin by saving valuable labor costs. Nelson's customer was delighted by on-time delivery and quality of service received. Let's now discuss a few advantages of Auto-Tune over manual testing. Experienced RF technicians have become extremely difficult to find. We hear this from nearly all of the organizations we work with. Auto -tune Auto-Tune provides an environment where less experienced technicians can properly test and align radios, freeing up more experienced techs to resolve problems or troubleshoot problematic systems. As we learned with the customer scenario, reducing the test time it takes to service radios is vital. Auto-Tune will reduce service time by as much as 60%. Another important factor with Auto-Tune is consistency. Each radio will be tested and aligned to the same exact specifications, regardless of who is performing the test. There are no uncertainties with Auto-Tune. Many customers have the goal of becoming self-maintained rather than depending upon dealers to provide expensive service. Auto-Tune allows the end user to verify proper operation and perform manufacturer required alignments. Therefore, limiting the number of radios that must be shipped to the radio dealer for service and or repair. There are several critical tests and or alignments that must be done to ensure the radio is performing at its optimal level. A sample of analog tests include TCXO frequency error. This important test is designed to ensure that the radio is transmitting on the exact frequency that it is programmed. Narrowband systems such as P25 Phase 2 have tighter frequency error specifications compared to legacy systems. Received Signal Strength Indicator, RSSI. This is the old 
can you hear me now test. RSSI is simply an estimated measurement of how good a device can hear a transmitted signal. Optimal performance is required in order to maintain adequate system coverage. Transmit power. Carrier power is measured and adjusted to within factory specifications across the operational frequency band. Too little power and system coverage will be limited. In the case of handheld portable radios, too much power will reduce battery life and have a negative impact on talk time. Transmit deviation. Proper transmit deviation alignment is critical to prevent interference with adjacent channels. As with frequency error, narrowband systems require extremely accurate deviation performance. Although most radial alignments are performed in analog mode, digital tests associated with the particular digital standard are necessary to ensure proper operation in digital modes such as Project 25, DMR, and NXDN. Examples of P25 digital tests performed by Autotune are as follows. Modulation fidelity. Generally speaking, modulation fidelity is set at the factory but should be verified to meet factory specifications. Poor modulation performance will certainly degrade overall radial performance. Digital sensitivity, BER. This is the digital equivalent to Synad in the analog world. The test is performed by putting the radio under test into a test mode. The service monitor is then programmed to transmit a digital pattern to the radio. The analyzer output is decreased until a bit error rate of 5% is measured by the radio software. The output level is then compared to the specifications of the radio. Symbol deviation. This test is designed to measure the quality of the radio's digital modulator. Symbol rate error. Excessive symbol rate error can lead to signal degradation of the transmitted signal, causing possible failed communications. Now let's learn how to access Autotune. Autotune is one of the many test modes available on the Freedom product line. To select any test mode, simply press the front panel test button to access the test setup menu. Next, press Autotune vertical soft key to access any of the enabled Autotune applications. The Autotune user interface is identical for all Autotune applications, regardless of radio manufacturer. The setup will vary, however, the procedure the user will follow remains the same. Here is an example of the Autotune user interface as well as one of our setup diagrams. The first diagram depicts the selection of the desired radio, make, and model. The second depicts the required setup of the Harris XL200 portable radio. Note that the part numbers for required accessories such as the USB tuning cable and battery eliminator are identified on the diagram. This slide represents an example of the tests that are supported for the XL200 portable radio. When the test is started, the radio is placed into a test mode and the R8100 documents the radio make, model, and serial number. Users may also select or deselect individual frequency bands based on their specific system requirements. Here is an example of the test report for an individual radio. Autotune has performed a complete test and alignment of the radio's internal oscillator. Note that once the alignment is complete at one individual frequency, the frequency error test is performed across the entire frequency band. Earlier in the presentation, I mentioned that one advantage with Autotune is the fact that all test results are documented. All test reports are saved to the R8100 solid state hard drive and can be exported to a USB drive at any time. Compensating for insertion loss in test cables is an often overlooked critical task for Autotune. Freedom introduced a feature called Cable Sweep with system firmware version 3.8. Modern radios often operate from VHF to 800 megahertz. 
Cable Sweep allows the user to accommodate for loss in the cable across the entire operating frequency band. Cable Sweep is located within the Settings, System Settings menu. Characterizing your test cable is a two-step process and requires a couple RF components in addition to the test cable. First, a 6 dB pad or attenuator is attached to the gen out port to minimize the impact of impedance mismatch across the full spectrum. Next, a reference cable is connected from the pad to the RF in out port. An RF adapter may be needed to make this connection. At this point, the instrument will sweep the reference cable to characterize the RF path. The second step requires the user to insert the cable under test. This is the test cable used to test radios between the reference cable and the RF in out port. Another RF adapter may be needed to accomplish this. This adapter slightly affects the sweep. So having a reference cable that can connect directly to the cable under test will slightly improve sweep accuracy. This slide shows an example of the measured loss of a cable from 30 megahertz to one gigahertz. Once the data has been saved, loss values will automatically be utilized by AutoTune for extremely accurate measurements. For additional information regarding the cable sweep feature, please review the Cable Sweep application note within our website library. Please check our website for product information such as data sheets, brochures, operator's manuals, user's guides, application notes, and other videos. Contact information for our sales and application engineers can be found on the support page. To schedule a product demonstration, or to obtain pricing information, contact your local U.S. manufacturer's representative or international distributor. You can also connect with us through social media channels. On behalf of the Freedom Team at Astronics Test Systems, we appreciate you taking the time to view this presentation. Thanks and have a great day.